Hi, YouTube. Okay. Today's video is going to be <coughs> the five reasons why relationships don't work. Five top reasons. If you change even three of these five reasons, I can guarantee you your relationship will last a lot longer than three months. <coughs> Reason number one. Jealousy, which is a reason everybody knows. Jealousy always messes up relationships. Like, guys, here's an example. Dating a hot girl. Your friends all the time or anybody like you are honest all the time thinking, she's cheating, she's cheating, she's cheating because she's hot. Or, like, thinking that because she has a lot of guy friends, like I do, like, oh, she's cheating, she's cheating, she's cheating, she's with one of those guys. And, want to say hi? Yeah, hi. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, like honestly thinking she's cheating, she's cheating, she's cheating. She's cheating, she's cheating. Why is she doing that? And to tell the truth, nine times out of ten she's not. Because if she wanted to be with someone else, she could. But she chose you. So stop that. Girls, it goes for you too. Stop thinking he's cheating. Is if he wants to be with you, he wants to be with you. I mean, unless you've got proof, let it go. Because you'll be pushing him away. And you don't want to do that. Um even indirectly asking, it's not okay. Number two, putting your partner on a pedestal. That is the worst possible thing you can do. Because like, look at the movie She's Out of My League. It'll sh it shows him putting his girl on a pedestal and how it tore them apart and it was pushing her away. Cause there's just no, I'm not saying don't treat your partner, right? Do that, but I mean, don't put them on this impossible pedestal they can't reach. That they're trying to be this piece of perfection that you make them seem like they are when they know that I can't be that. And it's going to stress them out. It's going to drive them insane. And there go their grades. There go their job performance. Like, you need, you can't do that. You've got to let that stuff go, honestly. Like, it's just, it's just very agitating and it's annoying. And, um... The next thing is um, you've got to be, number three is you've got to learn give and take. Like, you can't expect, like ladies, you can't expect your guy to want to hang out with you and buy you stuff all the time. You never buy him stuff or want to do what he wants to do. You can't expect him to go shopping with you if you're not going to go to the baseball game with him. You know what I mean? No, it's about give and sure. take. You can't expect... Girl, uh, men, you can't expect your lady to want to let you go hang out with the boys and get drunk all the time or go to parties with you all the time if you're not willing to take her out to a nice place once in a while. It's just agitating because she, she needs the amount of give and take that you are giving her. You know what I mean? It's just it's just agitating. So you've got to... Um, you've got to learn how to give and take it a little bit in relationships. And my fourth thing is you've got to, you can't, I mean, I know that you can't, like, okay, your relationship can't solely be based off of sex or be based off of looks. It's like, if you're with a guy because you think he's hot, but he does, like, a ton of things you don't like and you know that you can't take them, but you're taking it because he's hot, or he does nice things for you that's not right you've gotta you've gotta push him off or let it go dude you can't just be with a guy because he does things nice things for you or he looks good or or it's all about he's all about sex like it's just you like you can't <clears throat> like it just because it's all about sex like honestly yeah. sex is great but if you are looking for sex to be, like, the sex is great so I can deal with A, B, C, and D that this person does that I can't stand edgewise, that's stupid. Because one day you're going to realize that sex won't be that great anymore. And you'll have to deal with A, B, C, and D. And you won't want to deal with it. And then you end up in a horrible breakup. Do not deal with a flipping relationship if it's that bad. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. And, um, 
it just it doesn't it's not healthy for either of you because then the partner is gonna be wondering okay all these things bothered you why didn't you tell me that earlier why are you waiting till now to tell me it's just it's just annoying do not do that and I mean because like and it's Communication, that's what I'm trying to say. Communication is a big deal. And not just like, oh, hon, let's talk about our feelings. Like, I am number one about having to talk about my feelings. I was raised by guys. I don't like talking about my feelings. I don't even like to let people know I'm feeling anything. So, but talking in general just helps a lot. Like, you've got to sit there and talk. If somebody, if you feel like your partner's feet stank and they are some smelly bitches, tell, tell them Hey, your feet stank. Get some damn foot powder. Tell them that. Or say, and then it works the same way. Like, let's say your partner thinks that, I don't know, you should shave your face more often. Don't be offended. That's what's what they like. You know what I mean? And I mean, and I mean, like, it's just, if you can change it and it's something simple and it's not going to hurt you to change it, then just do it but I mean I'm not saying change yourself like if yourself is you like your hair short and you like your your attitude and you like the clothes you wear don't change that it's a bad idea trust me I've done it but if no, let's close that. but close if it. um but if um if it's just like shave your face or get a haircut or um can you put a little bit of, um, can you, would you mind wearing, um, makeup or something? Like, I don't know, a little eyeliner. I don't, I don't really know. I mean, just like, it's about give and take. And obviously, if you don't like the request that your partner's making, you shouldn't be with them in the first place. To tell you the truth. And finally, the fifth problem that relationships go bad. Friends. Because people let their friends say, BBCC and DD said this about you. And now I'm wondering this about you. Or... Like, I don't know. My instance, I'm attractive, apparently. And I have a lot of male friends, tons of male friends. And my ex, his friends were always telling him, ah, oh, she's fucking this, that, and the third, and stuff like that, because she's with him, and she's with him. But they were just my friends, and all of them had girlfriends. And I knew their girlfriends personally. So it was just kind of irritating. It's just like, no... I'm not dating him. No, I'm not fucking him either. I only want to be with you. Like, if I'm with you, then I only want to be with you. So, take all these into heart. Um, think about them. I don't know. Like, make sure that your relationship at least three eliminated and you can work on two. But, like, just think at least eliminate three of them because it's just, it's just sad, you know, that relationships go bad because five easy, changeable things. And if these five things are a huge problem in your relationship, then you need to reevaluate if you should end it or not. And I mean, comment. I don't care if you think that, oh, she's not a relationship expert or nothing like that. I mean, these are from experience. These are from my own personal experience on why it doesn't work out with me and males. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it just, it just, it works out. And you know, that's why, like, and because I eliminate all five things on my part, People would say, oh, you're the perfect girlfriend. But he didn't eliminate all five things on his part. And that's why we ended it. But long story short, long story short, like, take these to heart and they'll help you out. Bye-bye.